Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Carlisle. So I'm sat in a Lamborghini Huracan STO. Next to me is a Ferrari 4A8 Pista. Next to that is a Porsche 911 GT3. And we are going to have a drag race to see which of these track-focused cars are quickest in a straight line. Makes sense in my tiny mind. Anyway, let me tell you about this STO. It has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. It's mounted just behind me, puts out 640 horsepower and 565 newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels only via seven speed automatic gear blocks with launch control and dual clutches. Weighs in at 1,340 kilos. So that's dry weight, because that's how Lamborghini quotes it. If you want the curb weight, then that's probably about 100 kilos extra. So 1,440 kilos. Price of this new, 260,000 pounds. That Ferrari, it has a 3.9 litre twin turbo V8 once again mid mounted and it produces 720 horsepower and 770 newton meters of torque drives the rear wheels only via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control so that car weighs in at 1385 kilos but yet again Ferrari like Lamborghini quote it just dry weight like no one else does the Italian rules and reasons makes it sound better than it is. The actual curb weight of that car will be about 1,485 kilos. Expensive that though, 254,000 pounds. Okay, finally we come to the Porsche. So that has a four litre flat six natural aspirated engine, rear mounted, puts out 510 horsepower and 470 newton meters of torque. So it's down on power to the other, but that's Porsche horsepower and torque, which is more than Ferrari and Lamborghini horsepower and torque, it just is. It's the Germans, they like to keep a bit in reserve. Anyhow, drives the rear wheels, yet again, via seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. It is the lightest car here. It weighs in at 1,435 kilos. And that's curb weight, because Porsche don't like to make their figures sound better than they actually are. It's the cheapest as well, £132,000, if you can find an allocation, which you probably can't. Anyway, if you want to compare those stats side by side, we're going to show them on screen now together with the people who have lent us these cars. There's links to them in the description as well. So what I want you to do is go to whoever's car you think is the best, go to their either YouTube or their Instagram, and then follow them there and say, we are following you and we see which one goes up most and that will decide which of those is the best car. Makes sense? Anyway, pause the video now, I'll shut up for a bit. Anyway, let's go on with this. Buy, sell, car, wow. Before we start the race, let's do the obligatory car wow sound check. So, ah, actually before we do, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Also, the more subscribers we get, the more cars I can get to drag race for you to watch. Make sense? So make sure you do it. Okay, let's do the sound check then. I'm gonna rev up my engine first, a Nacho aspirated V10. I think I'm gonna win this. <laughs> I feel like a winner. Gives you a soft limiter, then revs all the way up. So let's have a play, but it doesn't let you just do too much. Oh, let's have a listen to the Ferrari with its turbochargers. Not a Lamborghini, but not bad. And finally the Porsche, which is kind of down on cylinders, just six. Okay, there's a pink comment. I want to go to it and you can vote in that pink comment which car you thought sounded the best, all right? Now, before you race, if you're thinking about changing your car, you should do it through CarWow. So you can check out the discounts on all the latest new cars, make sure you're paying a fair price, but you can also trade in your old car through CarWow. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, and our dealers from across the country will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Now, I'll come to your house, take it away, put the money in your account. It is so easy. If you want to do that, just click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, as a later date, just Google Wow Me Car Wow and we will wow you. And I'm going to wow you now by winning this drag race. I think, I hope, maybe, I might not. That Ferrari's fast. Spinning, come on, don't go so sideways. Oh, fine wheel spin there. The Ferrari's buggered off. This launch control just didn't hook up. That pistol just launched, didn't it? It just went off like a scalded cat. Yeah, this really hooked up and went. I wasn't expecting that. This is a fast car. How about you, Porsche? What was your launch control like? Did you spin your wheels? What happened? It spun a little bit, but it's pretty decent. It's kind of got a little bit of delay on when it actually releases the clutches. 
but yeah, it's kind of good. Okay, do you know what? I'd like to do it again because this thing just spun up its wheels. I reckon it can do a better time if I just launch it without using launch control. I just hold the brake and then just throw the throttle. I reckon I can go quicker. You up for another race? Oh yeah, definitely. Come on, Lamborghini. Well, let's see if it'll do any better. Mug. Okay, it's not going to go better than that. I was pleased with it. I was neck and neck with you, Ferrari, for the first 10, 20 meters. And then more power, more torque, more winnage. It has a lot of power. I, I don't know. We can do that all day long. I just don't think you can keep with this. It. It's ridiculous. And to be fair in it, the launch is so clever the way it shifts when it needs to. It's unbelievable. Porsche, you happy with yours, even though you came last? Yeah, pretty happy with it. Six cylinders, no turbos. It'll do. <laughs> There you go. So then, what are you talking about? Whoa, 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 stop that, stop that, not so soon. We've had a steward's inquiry. It appears that the Ferrari jumped the start, so we're going to go again, one last time. See what happens when he doesn't cheat. How was yours, Porsche? Launch was good that time, timed all right, but yeah, just way slower than that Ferrari, definitely. Yeah, but you know, you're pretty much half the price of these things. But anyway, not bad. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Ferrari won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.8 seconds. The Lamborghini was second, finishing in 10.9 seconds, and the Porsche was last, crossing the line in 11.5 seconds. <laughs> Now we're going to have a rolling race. Cars in the lesser sporty setting, so not full on mad race or whatever it is. They're in automotive for the gearbox and rolling race from 50. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Can't kick down. Whoa. When it kicks down, it's brutal. There goes the Porsche. But the Ferrari has just disappeared. me that's serious Porsche you kicked down really well and went ahead of me but then I reeled you in forgot about the Ferrari because it was so far ahead right from the get-go I didn't even know you two were in the race <laughs> yeah we had our own little private race while you just drove off down the runway um, let's mix it up now we're going to do the same thing again ride race from 50 but this time in the racist setting for each car and we started the gear because we're in manual mode now here we go three two one go oh it upshifts itself She's dropped. I tell you what, we might not be driving on a circuit, but there is one thing that is without doubt, you get on a longer circuit with some decent straights, that Ferrari is going to drop the other two, isn't it? Yeah, any big F1 circuit, this is just going to stretch its legs, unquestionably. Over in the Porsche, you have been losing, but you're still a winner because you've got a Porsche 911 GT3 and you managed to get allocation, which is quite rare. Do you want to tell the people who are watching what your channel is on YouTube where they can find out more about you and your cars and stuff? The channel's called Driftworks, it's, and it's where we build lots of silly stuff. It took six years to get this allocation. I put a deposit down six years ago, a 10 grand deposit for this car. Blimey. Also, thanks to the guy who lent me this car. It's Ken Shake Cars. Follow him on Instagram. The people who lent us the Ferrari was Unique, which is a car transport company. Go check them out. Their Instagram. All right? Thanks. Now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. We're going to line. Full emergency stop. See which car will stop in the shortest distance. If you'd rather watch another drag race with some hypercars, click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below to go watch that. If not, stay here. We're going to do the brake test. See if we can have another win for the Ferrari. Hopefully not. Come on, STO or Porsche. Porsche might win this. Here we go. 100 miles an hour at the line. <laughs> so close. 
Right, this is, oh, I hate it when this happens. I have to get out of the bloody car. Okay, very close, but the Porsche one, then the Ferrari, finally the Lamborghini. So close, sorry, Kenshe cars. Ah, oh, did you dirty. Anyhow. Anyhow, <laughs> if you'd like to see a great discount that I've got on a sporty car, which is a lot less expensive than these through Carlyle, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there, to go to somewhere exciting. Actually, it takes you to Carlyle, where you can see the car. I've some images. Give a brief description. And I'll do this a bit on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Thanks for watching.